Dog Foundation and America's Vet Dogs. Um, today we have two other puppies with us. As you can see, this isn't Smudge. This is Dharma, her um, sister, who's a female black lab. And we also have one of her other friends, Talia. So Talia is a golden retriever. She's a little bit younger than Dharma and Smudge, but she's pretty feisty so she can keep her own. And she loves hanging out with the older kids. So um, you might hear some grumbling during this video. They're pretty vocal while they're playing. They make lots of noise. They're having lots of fun. So if you hear grumbling, don't get too worried. Um, they just like to chit chat while they're playing because they're all girls and they like to talk a lot. So what we have, um, the reason why we're doing a playtime video is because it's really important for our puppies to play and interact with other dogs. Hi. Um, as always, we have them supervised and we're making sure that they're in a safe and closed area. But we have a ton of different toys out. Um, we're kind of letting them do their own thing. So Dharma right here. Hello. Is one of our more cautious puppies. She's pretty quiet. She likes to stick with her handler. Um, she doesn't always have the best confidence when she's out in public and exploring. She's very um, slow to explore new things. But when she's with other puppies, she definitely builds off of their confidence. And she gets really interested and engaged with the environment. So we're using this playtime for her to get some confidence and to explore. And as you can see, she's really more comfortable with what's going on. Um, this little seesaw settled her and she came right back. So it's really important that our puppies explore and engage with the environment during their playtime. Um, they can feed off the other puppy's confidence. They can read the other dog's body language to make sure that they're doing okay. And then they are like, oh, well, that puppy's having fun and playing, so I guess it's okay for me, too. So we're just going to watch them play for a, little, for a little bit, and then we are going to just kind of talk about why it's important for our puppies. So you can see all of our puppies have their own personalities. Like I said earlier, Dharma is the one that kind of sticks by her handler. She's the one that keeps coming back to me. Smudge is a little more independent. She's definitely the ringleader type. So she is usually the one that has the toy, she's usually the one that's engaging in the play, where she's like, come on, let's go! She's always the first one in my backyard when she has friends over, that's leading them over to the woods and the fenced-in area, so she can go tell them where all the cool stuff to play and sniff and investigate are. Talia, even though she's a little bit younger, she's really, really um, confident. You can see her tail is up in a very nice tail set. She hasn't really interacted with me much. She's more interested in her environment. She's comfortable walking on all these different surfaces. Oh, hello. But she's still very polite and she still engages with people when you start engaging with her. So she's a really fun puppy to hang out with and she's good because other puppies learn from her. Hi. Oh, that was very nice. So at this age, we don't expect their house manners and their behaviors of people to be perfect. So they might jump up on me because they're getting excited and they're playing um, because they don't know the best social behavior. So I'll just redirect her attention. Look at this toy over here. You don't need to bite me. So one thing that we can do during playtime that I showed when Smudge was little and playing with her friend Edda um, is we can get them to play and explore the environment and still have fun doing it. So having other dogs, like I said, builds up their confidence and they're still having fun while they're doing it. So it's a less stressful um, socialization than normal and they're getting to be with their friends, they're learning social behavior from them. So for example, if Smudge gets bitten by Talia too hard instead of just a play bite and she bites a little bit harder than normal, she might, you know, give her a little grumble and stand up and shake her off to tell her that that's not okay. So, um, it's good that our puppies are engaging with each other. Yes. As well as engaging, engaging in the environment and engaging Hi. Um, <laughs> with me, too. Hello. Alright, so you can see Smudge is trying to get Talia's attention. She was kind of biting on her neck, like, hello, pay attention to me. And now it looks like they're going to do some little roughhousing. So you can see they're both comfortable playing with each other, their tails are up, but they aren't being in any way too rough with each other. They're, they're doing normal puppy stuff, giving each other little nudges with their mouth. Um, 
doing a little bit of grumbling. So Smudge is definitely trying to get Holly to play with her. She's doing a couple little play bows. Um, so it's really fun to just watch their puppy, the puppies when they're playing with other dogs because you can definitely get to know a lot about their personality. So as you can see, like I said, Smudge is definitely the ringleader in playtime. She's always the one engaging her friends in some rough housing, oh, in some rough housing and getting them to um, zoom around with her. Hi. How do you do? All right. Smudge, come here. So it's also important to practice getting them to re-engage with their handler. So I just called Smudge over. She's the one that I would expect to respond to me. The other puppies don't know me as well, so they might not. Hi, Dharma. Hello. Another thing that we're going to get out is we're going to play with our popper. So this is just something that makes a lot of noise and can be a little startling. But since we have other puppies here, we can use it as a confidence boost. We can let them hang out and play with it. And they can investigate at their own pace. Good girls. Hi, Smudge. Want to play with this? Yes? Yeah? Dogs is a great way for our puppies to get their energy out. Puppies have more energy than adult dogs do, and it's good for them to learn social behaviors from other dogs, not just from humans in our interaction with them. So they're doing a great job kind of playing with who's interested. Dharma over here has decided she's comfortable on our surfaces. So this is a tool we use. It has different surfaces that feel a little different. We have an artificial grass a very rough broken wall, rug, a softer one, and then we have another woven rug too. You two are sassy. Um, and it also has dividers that they have to learn to step over or on. So this is a really good way for them to interact with the environment, get some new um, surface exposure in while still having fun and playing on it. Hi, come here Talia. Good girl! That was a little... Good job! Smudge is a champ at her seesaw, so she came over to me and isn't phased by it. Tali is a little nervous about it, but with the confidence of Smudge, she's definitely getting more comfortable and she's okay investigating it. Come on, Talia! Good job, Smudge. Show her. Show her it's okay. Smudge, you're hogging the attention. Good girls! We also have some surfaces right here that um, are actually the same surfaces we use in train platforms. So they do feel a little weird. They have a tactile surface that's bigger bumps, and we also have some smaller bumps. So all of our dogs have to get accustomed to walking on surfaces like that. You'll find them at bus stations, train stations, on certain sidewalks, and they can feel a little funny. They're, they're slick with little um, bumps, so it's a lot different than the normal surfaces that they would be walking on. So we put a couple of those down too so the puppies can just get used to playing with those and walking over those during playtime. Smuggers. It looks like Dharma's gaining some confidence. She was able to take the ball away from Smudge. Smudge reclaimed it. Good girls! So like I said, you just heard some grumbling. That's completely normal. They're still learning how to communicate with each other. And they're both pretty good girls. Smudge put a play bow in. They're still engaging with each other. They're just very vocal puppies, um, which isn't a problem as long as they're just vocal during play times. We don't have a problem with them expressing themselves during play times um, when they're young and even when they get a little bit older, it's okay if they're vocal while they're playing. We just don't want them barking when they're in public and when they're working. 
There you go. Good job. starting to slow down and settle down so um, just like our human babies puppies will play for a short amount of time and then need some rest so it looks like they're all trying to pick a toy to play with and settle down with that so we will see you um, later next week and we hope you have a great weekend